Rain. Let me tell you, it has ruined a good few outings for me. Now obviously I know it's important and I don't have control over the weather. But I do have control over my own life and I can prepare for the bad weather. Hello, this is Summer speaking. Welcome to Outdoors with Sum and today we're going to be making our own raincoats for our cameras. So obviously today we're doing a bit more of an indoors with some. This one is um, inspired by one of my friends. Hi Pete. He gave me um, the idea for how to make this raincoat out of a pair of old rain pants. Which is great because I'm a girl on a budget and I need it to be cheap. Fingers crossed we're going to find everything we need today and go. Yeah, it's spotlight all your crafts and materials and home stuff we love you there's some good elastic 850 a meter this one's actually really cheap and it looks pretty good and it's only four dollars and just grab some thread as well so that we can sew this thing all together Okay, so we didn't have much luck at the op shops, but that's okay. Sometimes in New Zealand it can be a little bit hard to um, find stuff just because we're a small country and we don't have as huge a range of products and we don't really have as many people either, so there's not that many raincoats coming in, possibly. If you live somewhere else, you might be able to get um, a cheap raincoat or rain trousers off of um, Amazon or something like that for pretty cheap but definitely check out secondhand stores first because it's always a good idea to try and buy stuff um, secondhand if you can but where I've come today is the place that you go when you can't find it anywhere else it's another Kiwi classic the warehouse where everyone gets a bargain yay so I found these ones, which are probably going to be a bit better because they're like fully PVC, so they're a bit heavier um, and a bit better for like waterproofing. So I'm going to get these ones. These are also good because they're, they're green. So you don't want to get ones that are like super bright, like a bright yellow or anything, because obviously wildlife is going to see it. I'm going to go buy these. And we're back. So I've got my braided elastic black thread and rivet work wear hardware hard work rain pants well we're on the floor <laughs> let's get these pants out and cut them up yeah I've never done this before and I don't have a backup pair of pants so if I mess it up Let's just see how it goes. Um, so one thing you definitely want to do before you go cutting anything is put your head in the pants. It means that while you're filming, if your camera is covered over, then you can put your head inside. It keeps you nice and dry too. That means that I want to make sure that I'm cutting um, here, across the top of the leg, like just below the crotch, rather than like down the middle here, because otherwise there won't be enough space in it to put my head in make the first incision might be a good idea to like cut it a bit lower just in case you mess it up let's 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 do that well actually I'm I'm you know I'm feeling pretty confident so I'm just gonna go for it ah, we're in oh dear okay well not the best cutting job my mum is a seamstress and she'd be possibly disappointed in me right now so sorry mum <laughs> we can tidy it up it's fine um yeah so that's what you're left with you got your your one-legged pant there good for pirates okay so what we're gonna do next is um we're gonna sew up this part here and close it up uh i don't have a sewing machine so i'm just gonna be using good old needle and thread and some pins and now we're just gonna take a pin and uh, pin it up. Just want to line up your seams there. Pins are just to hold everything in place. So, as I said, I don't have a sewing machine. I reckon not everybody does, you know? Controversial opinion, maybe. If you do have a sewing machine, prove me wrong. But I don't think everybody does, and I want to make this so that everyone can make a lovely little cam uh, camera cover for in the rain. We're doing it the old-fashioned way. 
I have nothing against sewing machines. I was raised by a sewing machine. My mother, Annie Gleason, she is a sewing machine. You know what I mean. Lovely job, lovely pin job there. And now, all we have to do is get our needle and thread and sew it up. Oh. oh, man, these pants are thick. Yeah, I chose to get the um, the full nylon experience with these, and that's just because they are better at keeping the rain out, supposedly. Personally, I don't have camera insurance, so, I mean, this is kind of worth it for me. Don't at me because I don't have camera insurance, all right? You know what you could do to help me out? You could subscribe, and then, Maybe I would have enough money to get camera insurance. Not it off. Not it off. Sorry, my New Zealand accent is atrocious. And look, we've created this nice little seam and you can take your pins out. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. We sewed. And now we can move on to the next step, which will be cutting this other leg. I got really hot before, so I took I took my jersey off. And we're gonna need to use whatever lens is your biggest because you wanna make sure that you can fit your big old lens in this raincoat, otherwise it's not really much use, is it? Now, this is gonna be a little bit difficult because I only have one camera. Usually I would be showing this with the camera attached. You wanna make sure you measure enough for your camera plus your lens. Um, I can't do that, so I'm just going to estimate how big my camera is and make sure I leave plenty of room on the other end. Make sure you measure with your camera plus your lens, okay? Your head's going to come to about here when it's inside of the pants. And then you want to leave maybe that much room for your camera, depending on how big your camera is. And then plus your lens. Yeah, I'm going to say to about there. And you want to leave a good inch or two at the end just to make sure you don't leave yourself short. What do you think, Stanley? Not helpful. Okay, friends, next step. So... Oh, so we've got our elastic. This is quite a big piece. What that's going to do is it'll fit nice and snug around your lens, like that. Take your lens, Measure with your elastic, cut. Make sure you leave a little bit on each side just to sew it up. Now we're gonna take these two ends and we're gonna sew them together so we've got this nice loop here. Put the loop inside of the sleeve where the camera is gonna come out and you probably wanna put it like, maybe like an inch down like that. And then you wanna put four pins in, one, two, three, four on each side. So put it into quarters. And what you might notice is, hey, this there's this big floppy bit of extra material everywhere. So that's when the secret of the elastic comes in. Hand sew along the elastic, and as you're going, you want to stretch and stitch. Stretch, stitch, stretch, stitch. This was really confusing for me as well. We stretch and stitch. And you can see that when the elastic bunches up, we're gonna get a nice little gathering there. That's what we want. I'm just going to keep going around the outside until that's all done. A very ugly but functional elastic sleeve. Pretty pleased with that actually. Thanks. Thanks for asking. It's not, a, it's not that good. So you've got your lens coming out here and I think that part will sit on top of the camera. And then that's at the back. It's got this nice pocket here and if I cut down the back here then I can open it up like flaps and that's where I can like look through at the camera settings. So that might be quite handy as well. Well, this is the finished product and I'm reasonably happy with it actually. I mean it's not by, it's not perfect by anyone's means. Nobody is perfect. Um, I've never sewn elastic by hand so good good job to you if you managed to do that as well. I definitely mucked it up quite a few times and it only costs about $40 or so New Zealand dollars. 
um, and you could probably get it for even cheaper than that I'm sure if you found, managed to find um, rain pants in an op shop or even on Amazon or something like that and then the rest of it is just the thread the needles and the pins basically so yeah pretty cheap and hopefully it works um, I hope you enjoyed the video hopefully next time it'll be outdoors with some again even if it is raining now I can go out and film because I have my lovely rain coat here. Do subscribe if you haven't already, if you liked this video. Also check me out on Instagram and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!